If you look at the mesh near this transition from the larger cross section to the smaller cross section, we see that you know we expect the stress concentration to be somewhere here, and we could get um, finer elements over there. And I'll show you one way to do that, um, and that's by setting this entity called the curvature normal angle. So to see that, highlight mesh in the tree and expand sizing. And if you look at uh, this entity, curvature normal angle, that can be used to control the number of elements through the turn. And if you go into the help, which I did, so if you go into the help search under mechanical applications for curvature normal angle, you can get to this page. And it says the curvature normal angle is the maximum allowable angle that one element edge is allowed to span. So if I go back to my model, so the default is 30 degrees. So each element can span up to 30 degrees, um, which is um, way too much for our application. So let's reduce it. Say let's so go to curvature normal angle and reduce it to five degrees. This means that each element here can span at the most five degrees. And let's take a look at the mesh. Okay, so you see that with that change um, in the curvature normal angle, you've gotten more elements through here. And I also played around with this and I'll show you another trick so if you go in here and look at the mesh statistics and so you have 553 elements here and I played around with the curvature normal angle and it turns out I can you know there is this setting here the min size that can override the curvature normal angle so let me um, so I have 553 elements now let me go in and uh, so the default is 0.1 inch so let me change that to 0.05 inches okay and update the mesh and this might be hard to see but it's actually put uh, refined the mesh through that turn a little bit and you can confirm that by going into uh, the statistics and seeing from 500, about 550 elements now you have 600 elements. So that's a pretty decent mesh for our first pass through the solution. So save your project.